Okay. Today we're just going to look at something I, I talked about before about a year ago. It's been a whole year. It doesn't feel like it. I, try, I tried to go through where every day I would make one or two low-poly models uh, for game assets in Blender and then export them as uh, a GLB files so they're easily imported into games. And uh, I was talking about that to somebody today, and I thought I'd go back to the project and realize I did do some things uh, about five months ago, but the majority of this stuff's a year old. But I just wanted to bring it up to you again uh, so that you're aware of it and show you something I added today. Because if you look at the uh, GitHub project here, or sorry, GitLab project, the Git project here, uh, I added something about 20 minutes ago. I added a simple little web viewer for the models. Uh, so uh, you can go to, first of all, if you, if, if you want real quick, you can go to filmsbychris.com forward slash git search, and you can search through all my Git repositories. And if you type in game, You'll see one with the little guy here and it says game assets. And that will bring you to this project here. And of course you can download that. And uh, I did five months ago add a simple little 2D sprite of a little guy with a gun. Uh, but majority of these are 3D models right now. Uh, I counted it up. I think there's 124 3D models in here. And again, they're low poly. I even did a video where I made one or two of them. Uh, but if you wanted to see them real quick, I'm going to just show you what I added today was a 3JS viewer. So you can also go to filmsbychris.com forward slash games forward slash 2020, 2022, right there, and click on game assets. And then you can click on model viewer. And that will bring you to a viewer. It's just something I threw together with 3JS. Uh, and every time you load it, it's going to load randomly one of the uh, 124 models. Uh, a, a few of these models, the first few I did, were based on other game packs I saw. I was trying to make things similar. But a majority of these models are things I see in real life. Things around my house, things around my kids' school, things around my work. Uh, right now, you know, you can use the mouse to look around. Just click and drag. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Uh, and when I made these models, I didn't take scaling into effect. So some of these are larger and smaller than others. Towards the end, when I was making them, I was trying to be a little more consistent with the sizing. Uh, but basically, every time you load the page, so you can hit F5 and it'll load a new one. Here's a chair with wheels. Now, uh, again, again, they're very low poly. They look very um, blocky here. Uh, also depends on your renderer. This is a very simple renderer. In Blender, they actually look a little bit better, and we'll look at that in a moment. But when you import into a game engine, depending on your lighting and how you have rendering set up, they'll either look like this or hopefully better. Uh, and some of these I'm very happy with. Hit F5, so something like this is just a red button. And I'm just going to go through some of these. This is a podium, you know, for someone to read off of. I'll hit F5 again. This is a diploma, just a diploma that you can put on the wall. And right now, I'm just going to go through a couple of these. Here's like a metal bench that I saw somewhere. I'd, I'd go somewhere, I'd see a picture, I'd see something, I'd take a picture of it, go home and make a model of it. It's basically what I did for like two months. And then sometimes I just do something like a music note. Uh, reload again. Here I made some keys for piano. So this is like one octave. So you can make a piano and clone this over again to make a keyboard or piano. Although I'm pretty sure there's a keyboard and piano in this model set. Uh, F5. Here is a flat light switch. You know, one of those big button ones. I have some that are just like regular switches. Oh, here's a little a little bomb. Again, that's one that I saw in other game assets and thought I'd make something similar. This one's real small. This is a lantern, a battery-powered lantern. It actually looks just like a lantern I have in my garage for power outages. Here's a fire hydrant and an arrow. And again, here's a 10-pound a dumbbell. I have a 25-pound dumbbell, a 35-pound dumbbell, and a 45, and a bar to go on. Here's a similar uh, to the first chair we looked at, but with armrests. So again, hitting F5. Here's a barrel. I have a few different barrels. I have this one where there's toxic waste pouring out the top. I have another one where it's knocked over and the toxic waste is on the ground. Another one that's, you know, a closed barrel. This is supposed to look like a missile from, or a rocket from the original video game Doom was what I modeled that after. There's the barrel with the ooze coming out of it. A green button. Here's a clock with temperatures on it and humidity. Here's a toilet. The, the, the um, bowl is definitely too big for the tank, but there's a toilet. Again, they're coming up random, so we might see a few of these. This one's kind of ugly, but there's actually a place with tables and umbrellas that look like this. They're this color near where I live. And that's what I modeled that after. Uh, platformer platform for a 3D platform. Here's a music stand with actual music notes on it. Uh, and I don't remember which song it is, but I'm pretty sure that that's a Nine Inch Nails song I took the MIDI file for and generated music sheets to put on there. An arrow. This one's a good one. This one's small, but this is 
a little mini router, just like a mini router I have that I play around with. I don't have it as my main router. And here's a sync. There's that bench again. Red button, slanted platform, 10 pound uh, weight. Here's a lamp with a bulb in there. The bench keeps coming up. Diploma again. We'll get one, a few more, a few more, and then I'm going to go into Blender and uh, show you. Because when you get, oh, here's a Rubik's cube. I have a Rubik's cube that's all mixed up as well. Stop sign. Some of these are better than others. Here's another uh, podium. This actually looks like a podium in uh, where my kids met for school last year. Here's a diploma. This is actually a diploma that's right up behind the camera here. Uh, it's uh, my, I think my black belt in bow uh, back in 1993. <laughs> a clock. Music note again. And a barrel. This one I actually followed a tutorial for. Uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo game controller. I have a few of these because uh, we have buttons for arcades, but here's a knob for an arcade, just like the one back here. And I have that in multiple colors. This one's a drum for a drum set. So you can stand it up or put it on a stand. I probably have a whole set together in this. Again, I made this these models over a year ago. Here's some cabinets that can go in a kitchen or a pantry. Toilet paper roll? I think that turned out great. That looks just like the toilet paper roll I have in my master bathroom. I think this cabinet is the one that I made in a video, so you saw me make this one live. A die. Battle axe. Outlet with silver plate around it. Barbell with the weights on it. And there's also a barbell without the weights on it. There's that drum again. A stool with very small, I don't know why I didn't make the base bigger. It looks a little funny, but there's that. Oh, for sale sign. You put that outside a house in your game. A bench with a cushion. There's that ugly uh, table again. Speakers. These look like speakers, again, in the uh, location where my kids met for school last year. Music note. Okay, let's, uh, let's go into Blender for a moment. And I'm going to open. And, and again, when you download this, uh, I have it broken down into categories like uh, uh, collection one, collection two, collection of ones like technology. And you go in there and there'll be two folders, one with the original Blender file and then one with the GLB export. So you can go in, if you're going to edit it, probably a good idea is to use the Blend file. Uh, but if you're going to import it to a game, it should be ready to go. But just as an example, I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to, I'll bring in this hydrant here, the fire hydrant. I'll open that up. By default, there's no camera. It's just the model. So we'll add in a camera and I will position things like so. And you can see what it looks like. You can see the color palette that I used uh, and I will hit F12 to render that out. Hey, pretty simple. Looks better in here, I think, than in the 3JS. But again, it's just different lighting environments. And I am using, you can see my laptop's not that fast. It's loading. It's rendering pretty quick, uh, 0.3 seconds, so a third of a second. Uh, but that's because I'm using the uh, workbench. So I, I have them all set up with the workbench renderer, which is the internal uh, blender renderer that's uh, basically for low quality stuff. Uh, so you could always turn it up to EV or cycles. So if I was to do it with cycles, you'll see it takes a little bit longer, but you can see it's, it's already starting to look better, but it's gonna do 128 samples right now. I'm only at 18, so it's gonna take a little while. We don't have any lighting here. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. And I will F3 add a plane. Scale that up. I will add in a light source. I'll add in a sun. Grab that, rotate it this way. And what's its power at? Its strength is at one. Let's add that up to five. Let's give that a render and see how that looks. There you go. So it's gonna, you know, it's if you're familiar with cycles, it's going to be um, grainy at first, but as it does more samples, it's going to get smoother and smoother, but we're, we're looking better. Uh, we could also smooth the model out some. So I could take that and uh, before I subsurface divide, it, I'm going to tab in edit mode, select all, F3, I'm going to subdivide. I'll subdivide it twice. And I'll hit F12 and we can see, probably won't see much of a difference there because it's subdivided, but it didn't change the model. Uh, but now we can add a modifier for it. 
this is probably going to slow down my machine, but I'll subsurface, subdivision surface. But I want to do that. I want to subdivide the, the model first. Otherwise, it will warp the shape of it because it's so low poly. But I'm just showing you this as examples of things you can do. There you go. So now it's a little bit smoother. Uh, let's go ahead and how's the lighting on that? Uh, I wasn't really paying attention before. Give it a second. So it's it's a lot more for my computer to calculate now. And again, my desktop that I used to use uh, was faster at this sort of thing. But I moved that into the other room. Uh, and right now I'm just using a laptop. So there you go. Well, we can let this render out. You can see it's actually looking a lot better, depending on the look you're going for for your game. I actually think that the... Um, the original look pretty good if you use the lighting right in a game. But I'm just showing you how you can uh, manipulate these a little bit. Uh, I do thank you for watching. Again, you can go to uh, my website. Let's go here. Uh, filmsbychris.com. And uh, you can go, if you were to go to filmsbychris.com. I'm about to run out of time on my camera here. Let's go down to software. And you can see get search. And type in game. And click on that and it'll bring you to the repositories with all these assets and I'll try to add more assets I, I should probably get back into this it was real fun every day trying to do a model or two in like 15 minutes or so so thanks for watching films by chris.com that's chris with a k there's a link in the description and as always I hope that you have a great day I almost forgot to mention uh, that uh, you'll see this when you go to the Git page, uh, but all these models are under a, a GPL license to be used in GPL software. So as long as you're using GPL compatible license with your games, you can use these. And that's just me trying to encourage you to uh, um, grasp freedom. So thanks for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.